What's going on guys? I'm a regular guy with the Regular Guy Firearms channel. Thanks for watching. Okay, so, uh, you guys read the title, you know what this is going to be about. You know, and all the time I get stuff about, oh, what do you think about this gun, that gun, these sights, that's, those sights, what light is this, or what do you recommend, blah, blah, blah. I very rarely get, um, requests for, like, holsters and stuff. You know, and I said in the past that doing a holster review is a lot like reviewing a sock. Okay, it goes, o it goes over my foot, doesn't cause any problems, I can put my shoes on and, and everything's fine, right? Uh, this isn't really any different. However, with regards to light bearing holsters, there are a couple of things to consider. And of course, this is from Holland Tactical Solutions. Um, and I gotta tell you what. Um, for the last, I think, six months, I've been messing with this guy. I think it might be a little bit less than that, but that's, it's been long enough for me to forget, basically. Uh, I've been carrying this guy exclusively, and I gotta tell you what, I am impressed. You know, uh, you guys know, if you pay attention to the channel and whatnot, that I have always been a huge fan of Raven Concealment Holsters, because they do the exact right job, they don't wear out or open up super fast. These guys have a pretty decent product. They don't have, they don't, your, their guns aren't falling out of holster, holsters and all kinds of stuff like that. And I gotta tell you what, they're, they're actually at a pretty good price point and stuff too. Now, realistically speaking, okay, realistically speaking, right after this next part, you could turn off the review if it's all you wanted to listen to. Will, uh, Wilhelm Holland and Holland Tactical Solutions, their holsters are good to go. They're good to go. They work. They don't cost you an arm and a leg. End of review, right? There's only a couple more things that I would like to say. And by the way, if, if that's the end of it for you and that's all you wanted to know, you can just click out right now. But I will say this. This company is about the people that they are providing a service to. Now, first and foremost, there are a couple of things about this individual holster that differ it very slightly from a bunch of other holsters that are on the market. First and foremost, you'll see that a little bit of the light is actually sticking out of here. Now, some guys will say, you know, A, that could be a negative thing, blah, blah, blah. This is an inside the waistband holster. Having a little bit of your light exposed inside your waistband is not an issue at all. But where it's a big plus for me is that when the gun comes out, I'm not getting stabbed. It's a, it is a appendix holster and it's, you know, for south paws and stuff. But with this little bit of extra from the holster cut out, I've had a bunch of light bearing holsters that were appendix, um, that were appendix carry holsters. And I got to tell you what, especially when you're trying to shoot and do a bunch of other things, you know, like supine or freaking... Uh, just fetal position, side prone, all this other stuff, or even kneeling position and stuff like that. Uh, getting stabbed by your holster is an annoying thing, in all honesty. And it's nice that there's a little bit of an extra touch there to where they cut a little bit out of it to where none of that's happening. Another thing that happens with a lot of lesser quality um, appendix holsters that are for that you know are for light bearing guns and stuff like that is that they tend to do this maneuver inside the waistband and I have none of that uh, issue at all with this. The next thing and what's great uh, the difference between my last Holland Tactical Solutions holster and this one is that in the last one I complained about you know the the actual uh, mounting hardware and where it was located on the holster was a little too low for me because I couldn't get a complete grip on the gun and then yank it out. Um, these guys made a solution for that and then they went a little bit further because they didn't just tailor to my personal preference, which is to have the gun positioned a little bit higher. They provided the option to where if you like the gun a little bit lower, you have basically little screw holes to put the belt loops where you want them. And that's fantastic. The next thing that's actually a little nuts about them is that I've had a lot of a lot of different dudes like on the Facebook channel and stuff like that ask me about, hey, well, I have this gun and this light. Do they have a combination for that? And what's neat about these people is that, well, if they don't, they'll make it happen. 
you know, it's, uh, I, I think it was uh, my buddy Aaron that sent them a 226 Legion with one of the new um, Surefire, like, tiny pistol lights, right? And he didn't have a combo for that. So he sent the gun and the light to him. They made him a holster for that. I'm guessing so that they would have the mold and stuff like that, too. And all they really did was charge him a custom holster fee. You know, and then from that point forward, they have the mold to continue that for other guys. You know, uh, for full transparency here, and this is and this is just so that you guys know what's going on with this uh, individual review. I asked, um, I asked these guys from Holland Tactical Solutions or Wilhelm from uh, Wilhelm Holland, like the guy, the dude that owns the thing, because he's on our Facebook page. I asked him if he had a combo just like this. A Glock 19 Streamlight TLR1 Appendix Carry Holster. That was also left-handed, if I didn't mention that. And he's like, yeah, we do. And I'm like, oh, great, fantastic. I, you know, I was actually interested in reviewing the things where, you know, where they had a, do I just go through, like, the website and all that other stuff? And he's like, no, don't worry about it. We're just going to send one to you. That, to me, boosts my confidence in the product immediately. Because he's absolutely not afraid to just throw this to the wolves. Because you know, you guys know what the deal is with this channel. If I'm reviewing a product, I'm reviewing it honestly. Honestly. So he just threw this to the wolves and he decided that, you know, just review the product. And of course, here we are. Um, fast forwarding a bunch of months later. Um, I, again, I figure about half a year. Uh, maybe something like that. But again, it's been long enough to where I don't remember. Um... But here we are, and no issues whatsoever. It's a sock. That acts like a sock, you know. And it's not like a lot of lesser quality Kydex manufacturers and stuff out there. Like your Alien Gear holsters, which, guys, I do not care who goes into the comments section and says that their Alien Gear holster is awesome. Um, we, had a, we had a buddy of ours, Miles. The dude actually in the in the frickin' B video that had a B fly into his action, um, he was telling us, you know, hey, well, my I don't really have an issue with mine, blah, blah, blah. And then he took a pistol class with us and come to find out, he found out later that the Alien Gear holster was crimped on the actual trigger guard so much that it was trying to pull his trigger, you know. So aside of that and aside of the fact that Alien Gear holsters fall apart, I don't care what anybody says. They don't work right now at all. But unlike those guys, these holsters have lasted, have seemed to last the test of time, you know, because I'm starting to see more people with their holsters and stuff like that. I'm not hearing of any quality issues or anything like that. I, haven't, I don't even know what their customer service is like because no one that I know has sent one of these back, you know. So all I can say from that is if you're looking for an option that is as good to go at least with Raven Concealment, because you guys know that was my go-to forever, I would check out Holland Tactical Solutions. They make great stuff. And remember, guys, a regular guy's firearm is the last defense against tyranny. Be easy.